Hey guys, back here in Make Code Arcade. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how do we extend a tile map and then make our little dude sort of appear on the bottom. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that really, really fast, rapid level development here with my set tile map. I'm gonna click on the tile map and then I'm gonna use the marquee tool, which is right here. And I'm gonna select my entire map, right? With my walls, that's this little guy that prevents him from falling through. Already selected, I'm gonna hit Command C or Control C, cause I'm on a, a Mac. And then over here where it's 16 by 16, I'm just gonna change this real quick to 36. So, and you're gonna see it jumps it up. But now while that's selected, I can drag this guy right to the bottom and then I can paste and I can drag this one down, move it over and I can, actually I can mirror right to left or side to side, that's crazy. Uh, back and forth, right? So you can see you have these mirroring options. And then I can drop it down and just build a map by pasting. And then if I don't like, you know, what I have, or if it doesn't function, I just need to go back to the eraser tool or the pen tool, draw some more, you know, walls and maps or walls and um, tiles. So that's it, I'm gonna leave it alone. I don't care if it's functional right now. And then what you're gonna see happen when I refresh this is my little dude drops like a super long way, but he's not at the bottom. So if I don't jump, I just go down. I can navigate down to the bottom of the map just with the gravity that I installed. And then, whoa, there he drops way down, right? So now I'm kind of back. I can jump him back up there, but I don't want that. I wanna start him right where he is. I'm gonna go back to the tile map real fast. And, and I want you to watch this area right down here in the lower left where I changed 16 to 36. And then right there are my actual coordinates. So you notice I'm on zero. The first column is actually a zero column. It counts it as a, a number. And then now I'm at 035. So I want him to land on top of this maybe two blocks in. So that's 234. But if I do that, he's just gonna slide off. So I'm gonna drop him on, let's say 232 and see what happens done and that block is going to seem I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see place my sprite on top of tile map at what did you say 2 and 32 okay let's see what happens yeah see that little animation he just drops down if I don't like it if I want him to drop a little further so I know that my player is going to see that and he drops in and he's ready to go and in fact if I drop him down he's only at the bottom so you could start your character at the top or the bottom it doesn't matter it's up to you with that little bit of code right there